Hey guys, it's a ooh, gotta fix my Liz shirt. Hey, it's Elizabeth. <laughs> it's weird. It's Elizabeth. It's Finding Elizabeth. And yes, this is my second video of the day, and I'm gonna be a little ranty on this one. I don't usually do that, but I'm sort of in a mood today, and then I keep hearing this over and over over the last week or two, and it's just driving me crazy. Um, and I just want to say to you guys, be kinder to yourself. Okay. So back up a little bit. I think this sort of, I started hearing it. Uh, so when everybody was at WLSFA on Sunday, I was FaceTiming with um, Patty and Rhea and Lindley and Brit Brat on Sunday. And one of the things that Brit Brat said to me was, you are my this person. And the person she was talking about was someone who really um, inspired I don't even think inspired is the right word because inspire means that somebody inspires you to do something. Nobody in the weight loss surgery community has really inspired me to have weight loss surgery because I was already well on my way to having it before I knew any of you guys. Um, but somebody who showed me that maybe this was possible for me, that losing weight was possible for me. And Brett Brad said, you're my this person. And I was like, Oh, that is the sweetest thing ever. My heart was so full of love for her. And it all, it already was. But when she said that, it meant a lot to me. And I started thinking about that person and that I hadn't heard much from that person in a while. And so I just wanted to reach out and say, you know what? Um, I'm going to fix this since I'm not driving. Um, you know, I just wanted to share with her that what a true compliment and honor it was for somebody to tell me that I was there, her. So I did. I reached out to her and she was like, wow, I'm surprised you, uh, I'm surprised and pleased that you still feel that way about me. It's like, of course I feel that way about you. I mean, you were the first person who showed me that this was possible for someone my size. And then we have people, uh, you know, we're a lot of us are struggling with regain. I'm struggling with regain. My uh, highest amount of regain was 20 pounds. And now it's 15. But yeah, it sucks. It's not great. And a lot, a lot of us are struggling with it. But it makes me so sad to hear you guys call yourselves failures. Or, you know, feel like you can't... That it's hard to be part of this community um, because you feel like you may have let people down. And trust me, I felt that way. I felt that way before I made videos where I had to come on and say, yeah, this is how much I weigh or this is what I did or whatever. I get it. I get the feeling. But I just wouldn't... I don't think that there is a person in this community who is a failure. Um, because if you're, if you're thinking about it, if you're working on it, if you haven't given up and you're still trying, whether you went six months without trying or a year without trying or a week without trying, you know, you're trying, you're showing up, you're thinking about it and you are not a failure just because you may have had a little regain. That doesn't mean that you've failed at anything. I mean, look at where we came from. I came from 400 pounds, so yes, I've gained, you know, well right now I'm at 15 pounds over my lowest weight. Oh my God, what a failure I am. I'm not a fucking failure. I have changed almost every habit in my life and so have so many of you. And it just makes me so sad to hear you beat up on yourself about this, this thing that we have beat up on ourselves about forever. And to think that because you've had a little bit of regain that you're not going to be an inspiration to someone anymore or you're not going to be um, someone someone looks up to anymore. First of all, you know, it's not, I have always, I mean, I will be honest about this. I have always made videos for me. Yes, there are things that I do for the community. I do the naked truth generally for the community. I certainly get something out of it, but that's something that I feel like I can give back um, and am happy to do it. But my videos that I make that are my updates are for me. They are to keep me accountable. And if they inspire somebody or teach them something or whatever, that's awesome. But they are for me. And now I don't even know what the point of that was. I am really truly on a rant. It just makes me so sad to hear so many people that I truly love and care about feel like a failure because they have regained some weight. You know, be, 
be realistic. And, and anybody who's making videos still is being realistic and honest about it or is making, you know, has come back to make videos. They, they are looking at it. I mean, that's all. Just be honest about it. Don't be in denial. And the only time, well, I don't think anybody is a failure, but I had a meme that I posted on Instagram the other day that was like, you know, the only failure is giving up. Everything else is giver, is gathering information. We are learning. We are growing. We have, you know, some of us have, I mean, I was a 67 BMI when I started. And now I can run and do handstands and do planks and do all these things that I never thought I was. So even if I were to gain back 50 pounds, I am not a failure. And neither are you. So I just wish, I just wish that we would all be a little kinder um, to ourselves. And I'm sure my friends can think of ways that I'm not kind to myself, but not about this about weight loss you know we took a huge step we made a decision to change our lives and we have changed our lives and a little regain doesn't change that we are all fighting this battle doing the best we can and considering where we came from which for me would be like years without even getting on a scale because I wanted to have blinders on about what was happening and I don't I wake up almost every day and get on the scale the only times I don't is if I'm somewhere else or I forget and eat something or drink something first and then I'm like eh, I'll wait till tomorrow but I am aware of what my weight is every day and honestly as long as I'm being conscious and honest about what's going on I will never be a failure and neither will you so be kind to yourself you know we have spent enough of our lives beating ourselves up over weight Okay, please. All right, that's all I have. Sorry, I ranted and yelled. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye.